Okay, um, uh, Kyoshi, crazy boy from Japan and I are in this dark forest right here, and dark forest like this, and here's the trail right over here, we just left the trail. This is a great place to look for, what, what can we look for here? I don't know, maybe centipedes or night crawlers. Oh, you're speaking yeah. my language there. Yeah. Creepy what, what crawlies. What kind of trees? I think this is Sugi. Okay, Kyoshi and I were just uh, digging in this log, and we found a very small mukare. This yeah. is a, I wonder... This looks a little different from the giant. Maybe it yeah. is. The legs are longer. Oh, Maybe. there it goes. There it goes. And you can see it running uh, all over the place. Very nice. Hopefully it won't go up your sleeve. Yeah. Oh, oh. Right. All I gone. Lost it. Oh, right here. Ah, in its natural habitat now. Mukare slithering away. Tiny little, little. centipede. Oh, please wait. Little tiny things? Yeah, it jumps so high. How do you say um, it in Japanese? It's a tobimushi or yoko ebi. Ooh. Yeah, it's a crustacean. Oh, I don't know yeah. that one. Very small. Yeah. Beyond the zoom range of my camera. <laughs> Kyoshi found this. A little trickle of water coming out of the ground. Ground water coming out. Right. The beginning of the river. Ah. Yeah. We're on a little footbridge. Now these footbridges bridge, were not here before. You can see several. There's another behind Kyoshi back there, several more. These bridges weren't here before, and this steep hillside was rather tough to get by when I came here by myself. I don't know what the patterns mean, like these tough patterns. Maybe they're for uh, tr traction, friction. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. These, yeah. Were, these uh, little bridges were put in place by the loggers, and you can see that this whole hill has been cut. All around on, on both sides. We're out in the open. Now, when I came here before, this was a complete dense cover of forest. Uh, hardly any light could come through. It was very, very dark down here. And uh, it's quite a contrast to what I see now. Hopefully, uh, we'll see more of the actual forest further up. But the trail continues. Thanks to the loggers, we're actually able to uh, get further up into the mountain than I was before. Okay, we found something. This It's not a, an animal. It looks like a, a plant. Oh, oh, oh. Spider. Where, where, where? Right here, my, my sleeve, on my sleeve. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Well, I can't get him. <laughs> oh, it's too fast. <laughs> little tiny one. I don't know, wait. There he is, oh. there he is. On my hand. There it goes. Little tiny little one. Whoops. Oh, right here. Oh, right there. Fast. <laughs> okay, now what do you think this is? This looks like a fungus, maybe? Yeah, I think it's some kind of mushroom. Not mushroom, but fungus, yeah. Different wow. Way. It's very, it looks very large. Yeah. It's very soft and mm -hmm. squishy. But unfortunately, it's not edible. <laughs> it's not edible. A lot of uh, fungus up here it are inedible though. Yeah. It looks very, I'm kind of, I don't want to damage it too much, nah. but it looks like it's decomposing mm -hmm. in, yeah. in parts. Look at it up here. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, cleaning the for forest. Cleaning the forest. Tell me something. Yoshi, what did you find? I found a crab. All right, let's take a look. Crabs? Japanese river crabs. Japanese river crabs, wow. That's really neat. Yeah. Tell, but, what can you tell us about them? Well, they are called sawagani in Japanese. That means a stream of brook crab. And these ones are actually adult, like about maybe half half inch diameter, I don't mm -hmm. know. And this one's oh, oh there you oh, go. I lost one. Oh, they're down the stream. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the big one. Yeah, the adult. This is and, an adult. Yeah, and this one's a female. Really? This, you know, the belly, this part is large, so she can spawn more eggs, right? We uh, oh, kind of lost the trail for a bit there. <laughs> you can see that uh, it uh, all looks the same in here, but I think if you look straight ahead, there's a faint. A uh, bit of a track there, so uh, maybe this is the air getting into the area where uh, fewer people actually go. Well, we were walking along, and we uh, something caught our eye in the distance there. Do you see it? Let's zoom in. There's a waterfall up there. Shall we go take a look at it? Oh yeah. All right. It's so overlooked, you know, so, so forgotten. Well, we're getting uh, closer. This is uh, some rough climbing here. There's the uh, first waterfall. And uh, we just spotted a second waterfall beyond. It probably just goes on and on. 
Much closer now. Well, we made it to the waterfall. Just is going to wash his hands. We're going to have our uh, our uh, snack here. Wow, what a pretty place. It's uh, really cold. We've been moving, so we've been warm, but now that we've stopped, it's uh, very cold. There's another waterfall up here, and the leaves, I don't know if you can see them in the camera, little leaves are just descending down upon us like a snowflake. I don't think the camera's picking them up. They're too small. And uh, whenever a gust of wind comes, the leaves just come down closer. There they are landing on uh, Joseph's head all around. Little um, uh, 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 clouds of midges. Mm, they're not attacking us, but they're very lovely. Well, midges. Mayflies. Or mayflies. Ah, oh, they yes. They look too big to be midges, didn't they? Yeah. Maybe the clouds of mayflies are uh, coming by uh, in mating swarms, I think. And look at this large vine right there. You know, this is a great spot to have lunch. <laughs> if we can just find a seat. What you what you find them? Wasabi? Yeah. Spicy, yeah. Spicy. It tastes just like it. You know, it's different though than what I've ever tasted before. It's actually delicious like this. It, it's like almost something you could have on a salad, don't you think? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a watercress in a way. Exactly. It's got the only the faintest yeah. hint of wasabi. Yeah, I've never tasted anything like or it. The mustard, mustard green. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like that. Um, Kyoshi and I are finding there's all these plants, all these green, these are escaped wasabi that have basically escaped, he's digging it up. Now these are plants that have escaped from the farmer's field. They are not in the field. They are kind of like wild wasabi. Yeah, so and we're going to take a look at the root here. This is a horse rabbit part. That's the part that you would make into the... the paste or ground, yeah. Now see how different this is? Here in this waterfall pond, Kyoshi found a whopper of a uh, sawagani. Yeah. And look at that. Now tell us, what do you, what, is, what, do you, what can you tell us about this one? Well, this one is adult male. Because this part in the stomach is narrow. Yeah. So it doesn't have to spawn egg, right? Right. The whole egg. And also it has bigger claw on the ah, right side. Yeah, yeah. Because, like you were telling us before that. Yeah. Whoa, can you pinch you there? <laughs> He's a little upset at you there. Yeah. That is really beautiful. So now we found a, uh, an adult female and an adult male. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, I'm Like any good naturalist returning back to the place and uh, off into, under the log. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be it for us today. Just when we thought that uh, there would be no more signs of humanity up here, we found a wall. Wow. And the trail is really getting hard to find. We need a, a guide <laughs> into these mountains to really help us. That doesn't mean we're going to stop. We're going to come back here and try it again. But check this wall out. Look at this. Wow, what an interesting uh, little rivulet there. And then here's a big wall. Oh, slippery. Let me step through the water. Oh. There we go. Sorry for the rough camera work. It's really rough going here. Look at this. Someone built this. Oh, big spider. Oh. Uh, spider's in the face. Nothing completes a good day of hiking in Japan without a spider in the face. Okay, someone made this. Look at this. And then the water falling through here. 
Uh, that's the Tabi. Who knows? Just what it was. Let's step over here a little further. Trees across. This is pretty, uh, some pretty rough hiking. Although I do want to see what's further up there. We're getting late on in the afternoon. We're going to need to head on, head on down. And, uh, I just got to say that this is a great, great hike. Whoa, we really had a lot of fun. And, uh, can't wait to come up here and explore further. Well, this has really turned out to be a spectacular hike. I'd have to rank this as uh, one of the nicest I've done this year. Um, the uh, clear cut zone has passed. We've gone through that. We're just about on the edge of the um, of the, uh, uh, the cedar zone, the Tsugi area. This forest is here. And uh, beyond lies the uh, realm of the uh, broadleaf conifer or the indigenous trees, the deciduous uh, trees of, of, of the high mountains of Japan. You can see some light up there. That, that's where it really gets spectacular, especially uh, later in the uh, in the year when the rain is even starts. The big broadleaf trees are just amazing. Um, I'm really excited to explore up in that area. I uh, don't know how much uh, further we'll make it today. Kiyoshi and I have had an absolute blast. He turns out to be a hiker just like me. We go about a uh, hundred yards and stop and explore and root around, pull over logs, look for centipedes, look for crabs, have a good time, laugh and have some jokes. It's uh, really fun to hike with him, and uh, we're having a blast. He's down there looking for crabs right now, and uh, so when he get when he's done, we're going to come up. I'm looking for centipedes. When he's done, we're going to try and make our way up here. <laughs> the one thing that stands in our way now is that the uh, the trail has uh, essentially. Uh, uh, petered out. I think that uh, that's it over here. Can you see up the cliff here? Right. I think this I think it continues up along and skirts along this uh, canyon here, but we've lost the trail several times and managed to pick it up. Uh, I don't know how much further we'll go. We're going to keep on going. He's a bushwhacker like me. When the going gets rough, we're going to hit the bushes. It's a lot of fun. So uh, off we go. A great, great hike. Turned out to be a great hike. Well, that's it. We had our hike, huh? It was tough. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, we, I, I don't think we went very far. No. But we spent a lot of... Yeah, it wasn't that much far. Maybe like a half mile. Yeah, it, was, it really wasn't yeah. very far. This is not yeah. a long hike. We kept stopping. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we, we made a couple of side... We, we made some side trips. Yeah, a lot of the detour. Yeah. yeah, a little detour. But the main problem was that it was really rugged. I mean, this is really rough and the trail kept disappearing. Yeah. And we'd, we'd, we'd find it again and and disappear again and we get distracted by crabs. Uh, yeah, it's and, a common uh, problem in Japan, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Anywhere, yeah. Well, I think it was kind of a fun thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Because sure. it kind of led us, we were finding places, a, a little crab area. Uh -huh. We found the wasabi patches. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, while we were coming back, we, we, we talked about it and I think we thought that maybe the wasabi places we saw were abandoned. Yeah. Because there's a one right over here that has a uh, much bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Much much more well taken yeah 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 much better so that could be the case but anyway it was a great hike we're back at our Gizo and uh, it's time to sign off for the day um, and I'd really love to mention to do this again sure. take over where we start yeah left off and see how much further we can go okay I'm convinced that this trail goes up and over the mountains mm -hmm. and uh, someplace interesting I don't know where yeah maybe that way to I don't know yeah it seems like there might be some we yeah. saw a couple branches didn't we yeah yeah it'd be fun to explore as well but the video is me. Well, okay, well, we're going to sign off from now, and uh, from uh, Crazy Boy from Japan and uh, Saki Papa, and uh, go home and check his channel out. He's oh, a great, you, yeah. great guy. <laughs> Encourage him to make videos. You should hear him talk. He really knows his stuff. This guy really knows about uh, animals and uh, and insects here in Japan, and I'm, I'm <laughs> encouraging him. Make more videos. Make more videos. People are going to eat it up. So go over, subscribe. He, when he sees those subscriber numbers rising, that's going to be his cue to go out and make some more videos. Right? Thank you for introducing him. <laughs> It's really a pleasure to meet you, and I'm, well, I'm glad to be. Here. I'm glad we can be friends now, and maybe get yeah. on a hike more. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Take care, everybody. Yeah. See, See you guys. later. Bye bye. Okay.